guys. We're here at Game Summit. Um, we're the only people here for Warhammer so far. Hopefully it's happening. <laughs> It's pretty, pretty huge venue today. Lots of War Machine players and Flames of War and X-Wing and everything. So, assuming the tournament happens, it should be fun. This could be a bust, people. <laughs> Run our own tournament. Yep. He's proxy for War Machine. So, Game Summit's uh, sort of like a gaming convention. They hold every year here in uh, Gatineau, which is part of Ottawa, despite what they think. Um, so they have like multiple systems and board games and stuff, and they run tournaments. So I think there's a X-wing, War Machine, and Flames of War tournament, and apparently a Warhammer Fantasy. But like I said, or like Logan said, no one's no one's here for it. And we're thinking these black squares are where the fantasy tables are supposed to be. But we'll figure it out. Stay tuned for more coverage. Alright, so it turns out we were in the right area. Uh, I guess these are tables. Uh, a good few people here already. Steve from Montreal is here. Uh, this table's pretty cool, so it's all like marshes and stuff. Some deserts. I don't think we're gonna count it as all marshes, otherwise, well, my army's fucked. Uh, got some looks like a lizard man temple. Empire village at the back there. Desert. So this is a four round, two thousand point tournament. Some people setting up. Uh, I brought the chaos dwarfs today. Should be good, hopefully. Logan brought his warriors. Looks like we got an empire army. And Steve's, uh, what else? All right, guys. So the real players. And hey, I guess there's some announcements, yeah, so we'll cut out. Hey, everyone. We're back. People showed up to the tournament. So it looks like we got 12 people here today, or 11, and a ringer. So we got some pretty cool tables. Not running all of this is dangerous terrain. But we got a decent spread of armies. We got a couple of Warriors players, Skaven, Empire. Uh, how else we got? Orcs and Goblins, two Dark Elf players. An army of bears. <laughs> Should be a pretty good turnout. Getting started here in a little bit. Do some recaps after some of the rounds and uh, have some content out for you. Other than that, we've got, I think, uh, what do we have here? Drop some commander maybe for a table? Got Flames of War, X Wing, and then a shitload of people for War Machine. And then a bunch of open gaming, vendors and whatnot. And there's a whole other hall that we don't have access to because we're just here for the tournament. So, we'll be back later on. Hey everyone, we're here after the first round of the tournament. Um, neither Andrew or I did particularly well. Both of us lost our games, so we'll see how that goes. But just uh, doing paint judging now, going around, taking a look at all the armies. So we'll do close-ups. This is mine. It's not gorgeous, but it does the job. Show you a couple of tables here too. It's uh, Andrew's Chaos Orbs. We got Thomas the Tank Engine here. And he'll kill me for saying it, but it's the Mountain Dew Clan. We got uh, Jam's Warriors Chaos. We got our ringer here, Will, the tournament organizer. He's got his Demons of Chaos, with Epidemius, all the nurgly goodness, and then a very green looking skull cannon, proxy kind of thing. Some wood elves here. And over here we have my first game opponent, Dominique's army, which is absolutely gorgeous.
All the banners here look like they're doing freehand. Beautiful display board. All these little banners are all separate and all freehand as well. Uh, is the moving along? We got the table here. Some Skaven. They're absolutely beautiful army. beautiful as you can be for rats, I guess. This army will show you from the other side. It's pretty unique. More Wood Elves is Steve from Northern Defenders. It's a pretty sexy swamp table here. Uh, this model that's been left here belongs to the next army we're going to look at. This is Jason Hutchinson's uh, Dark Elves. These were in one of our battle reports earlier on. Some folks were asking for sort of a show, showcase on his army, so we'll do a quick overview here. Get some close-ups. Moving along here. This the, the unit hmm? the the yeah, the you hit the mage. Steve Stark Elves. It's if you mage And then probably the most unique army here. <laughs> Got Empire with lots of bears. Also a moose. Bear cavalry. And then, and I'm particularly proud of this pun, a bariat. <laughs> you just unsubscribe from the channel, don't blame me one bit. And then we're over to another gorgeous orcs and goblins army. Unit fillers uh, in this one are especially them. awesome. Yeah? Yeah. You guys know wags or arms is pretty funny. Yeah. I like his undead dwarves. Oh, I like his. So, well, he, he paints the same style I do. I know he does. So, uh, what's not to like? Yeah. I, I do get fed when people say, well, I don't like the cartoon style. Hey, buddy. Whatever. I love the cartoon style. I think it looks awesome. Yeah. I just wish Andrew would have, like, when you look at them really up close. So, as you can see, we got some pretty awesome armies here today. A lot of folks who are really big into the hobby side of things, as well as being good players for a lot of them. So, things are, things are pretty fantastic. These all, armies all look great close up. Some of the conversions are absolutely fantastic. Uh, so, we're doing our vote paint voting and then we'll be back for a quick recap of round two of the tournament all right hi everyone i'm here with dominic from the northern defenders team how's it going hi i'm fine hey uh did you enjoy the tournament yes excellent how'd you do i did pretty well the three first game but uh my last game was against uh, Willpool. oh i yeah. got crushed uh <laughs> so yeah he was playing his demons today right yeah all he right was playing his norgal demon so i wasn't able to make it yeah well, it happens to the best of us. So, uh, tell us a bit about how you got into the hobby, how long you've been playing. I started in nine, uh, yeah, 1991 with Heroes Quest. Oh, I don't know yeah. if you rem remember that, that, whole, uh, that whole box. Anyway, and uh, after that I wanted to Fantasy and 40k and, and playing since that time. I, I play mostly uh, uh, Fantasy, but uh, I still like to campaign in 40k too. I do a lot of tournaments, for the, uh, both for 40k and uh, fantasy. And uh, right now I also organize uh, the, in the Open and the, the, 
and different freak show for the chaos music. So that that's a lot of time that I put into the hobby each year. I paint, paint less model for myself and a lot of tables for, for the <laughs> tournaments. Uh, for you guys, I will say just, just go and what you like. If you like some kind of model and how to play an army, if you like the um, have a lot of models, go orcs, hampar, that kind of thing. And if, if you like the feel of the model, it's the same. So go, go with what you like, not what you think is the, the most powerful unit. Very good advice. That's mine. So what, what armies do you play? Uh, mostly for fantasy I play Empire. I've been playing this army since as long as I can remember playing for uh, fantasy. I also uh, play Dwarves, uh, Lizardman and High Elf. I started to paint in my High Elves army. If I'm lucky I will be playing it at Adepticon and, to, and uh, at the next tournament. So I will like that. And for 40k I have Imperial Guard and Space Marines. All right. Uh, so tell us a bit about the uh, Northern Defenders tournaments that are coming up in the next yeah. few months. Uh, the 11 and 12 of October, we have the, the ND Freak Show. Uh, on the Saturday, it's a team tournament for 40, 40k and Fantasy. And uh, the plays are saying very well. I think we have uh, like uh, 18 plays, 18, 18, sorry, team for uh, Fantasy and 16 for 40k. And on the Sunday, we have a single for 40k and Fantasy. Uh, the single for uh, Fantasy is full with 36 uh, plays and for 40 k it's only 9 or 11 plays that are uh, gone so there is still a place if someone will come. Wow. And my big event is the NDA Open. This year it will be the 7th and 8th of March. Uh, that's uh, 60 plays for uh, Fantasy, uh, 50 for 40 k and we also have a 32 plays uh, tournament for War Machine. Uh, what is great too this year, we'll have some board game demos and tournament. I don't have the exact detail on, on this one, but that will let you do something in between your games. And we also have the um, painting competition, and the level is pretty great, and we have great um, uh, partners for that, that um, competition. We have Badger, Circuit Weapons, uh, Dragon Forge. So there will be a lot of prize. All right, very cool. Yeah. And Chaos Ludique is in Montreal. Yes, and Montreal, and the end open is in Quebec City. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Great. Thanks very much. Hope you had a good time today, and thanks for taking the time to do this with us. Thank you. Right. Hey everyone, we're here after round two. Uh, played against Jason's Dark Elves and squeaked out a tie with a 90 point difference. Don't know how, but I'll take it. Uh, not sure how Andrew's game went. Uh, I'm sure we'll find him here in a second. Uh, but we're just wrapping up, about to get our third round. Andrew, how'd your game go? Uh, pretty good. Uh, it's about a tie. We got 11-9 difference uh, in my favor. A uh, really nice army, all old school kids love models and stuff. I love the bears. Love the bears. Fantastic. All right, we'll uh, touch in again after round three here coming up. Hopefully uh, things are good, but I think Andrew and I are sort of dragging the bottom here. But uh, still two games left. Good 20 no people and you know, end up in a little back. We'll find out. All right, quick update here at the end of round three. People just finishing up their games. Andrew and I ended up having to play on this table here. Me too. And I felt like kind of a douche because I purple sunned and literally killed half his army, if not more. So that sucked for him. I won that one. Minus two. So let's do a quick, quick wander around here. You see it's starting to fill up. Lots of vendors. And down, way at the end there, the next area, there's another couple vendors, including the group that's running this. Got some good deals. Just picked up some new stuff, grabbed a Chimera and some uh, Bretonian Knights that I'm going to convert into Black Knights. So get, get some more 11 for the Vampire accounts. Um, yeah, pass that. We're about to go into round four to be the last round of the tournament. And then we will be done for the day. We'll be back with the uh, ending stuff. Hey everyone, I'm here with Jan. I uh, just finished up the Game Summit tournament. So tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been in the hobby, how you got into it. I've um, been playing since probably 99, 98. Uh, my cousin was in fantasy, got into it, picked up Dark Elves. They were horrible, lost a lot. Then obviously they got better and they got cheesy and now they're still kind of cheesy. Um, I've released like 
fantasy was my go-to game for the longest time, um, and now lately, fantasies have like had mixed feelings, and now I guess I'm getting back into it. <clears throat> uh, I haven't done actually a lot of tournaments, so this one was like I think my third proper real like display case kind of tournaments, and um, what's really difficult is you always forget your one unit, and you're like shit. And you like, think back in the game, like, well, that one unit, like I'd done it, like moved a little more, moved a little like that, you'd win the game. And so it's really it comes down to like microing and really paying attention to like those little those little details. Because those little details and that attention to it really pulls you in the game. And that's ultimately why I'm always in the bottom bracket, because I just don't care. <laughs> um, I have a lot of fun. Um, yeah. All right, what, uh, what armies do you play for fantasy um, and, and 40k, I guess? I know so you're into that, too. For fantasy, I've got chaos. I started off with, like, obviously, my Dark Elves, and then after I was tired of shooting people and losing in combat, I was like, what's the army that has the best combat potentials? So my buddy Dave sold me his uh, chaos army for, like, starter box and a couple of units for, a couple, like, 100 bucks or something like that, and then kind of built it from there. Um, what's been really irritating, though, is, like, the, um, the shift from, like, 7th to 8th to, like, the advent of Death Stars, and specifically the book change was, like, okay, all my Marauders are now useless. So I've got, like... 50 or 60 marauders that are like now chill in a box. And you're like, thanks, GW. You're an asshole. Uh, <laughs> and so I guess, I guess one of the things that's really like, as a, like, I'm a diehard, like, not just a diehard, but like, I'm always going to play uh, Warhammer. But it's, it is, as a fan, like, kind of like irritating to be like, now my, my collection is now invalidated by the rule set. Like, I, now I really enjoy the new rule set. But the flip side, it's like, some of my cherished models, like, I've put a lot of effort into painting. You're like, well, I'm never going to use you anymore. And so hopefully, you know, I kind of wait for the next book to come out. You know, just like those poor Bretonian bastards are still fucking waiting. Fourth edition for their yeah. book still? No, no, it's or sixth fifth? edition. Oh, sixth is that edition. new? Okay, yeah. okay. That's not quite yeah. as It still bad. has a little band around it, um, which is Advent to Sixth Edition. So I remember when that book came out. All right. Yeah. Um, so are you relatively new to the tournament scene, or have you been doing this a yeah, lot? Yeah, I'm relatively years? new. All right. Um, How have you found it so far, your experience is like? Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, most people are super friendly. Like, even the people who, like, just raffle stuff, like, you're not even a model left on the table, they're still really friendly. Like, oh, by the way, did you want to do that? And you're like, oh, yeah, maybe I don't because I'm making rookie mistakes. So, like, it's a really friendly scene. So, like, generally, and also because they actually rank it. So if you lose all your games, you're going to play the other people lose. So hopefully you have a 50% chance of winning. So, I, you know, three and one. Um, guys in one and three. Yeah, win one game, lost three. So, you know, that's how it goes. Oh, did you have a good time today? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Right, Definitely would do something like this again. What did you think of the tournament overall? Uh, it was nice. It was a, like, when I first checked it out, like two weeks, when a week ago when I found out about it, only eight people registered. Enough people showed up, so it's not like you play the extra four people like three times. So. Right. Um, which is really nice. It's big enough. Um, it is, yeah, it's, it's nice. All right. Uh, what advice would you have for anybody who's just starting out in the hobby or just looking to get into to tournament play? Um, I mean, the thing, the, the, the big intimidation thing about like, uh, tournament play is you have to have your fully your army painted. And really, like, don't worry, don't stress if you're a perfectionist. Just make it look nice from afar. Three colors. Base coat. If you're really lazy, just base coat the color you're going to use. Put the metal, and then put your flare color, and color done. All right. Well, thanks very much for the time, Jan. And thanks for coming out. Thanks. Oh, oh. Holy oh. Holy Jesus, is that special lens in that? <laughs> Sorry, well... Alright. <laughs> oh, yeah, almost forgot. Yeah, bother. Oh, when I said I was ready, it made almost ready. One, so. <laughs> forgot all about last place. Can't forget last place. Alright, so the first thing we're going to start with is. Uh, Oh, first we're going to say thanks for coming out, guys. Appreciate it. Events like this don't happen if people don't come out. And you did. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, thanks to, uh, what do they call FDB? For supplies and prizes, running the whole thing, etc., etc. And, uh, uh, whatever. Somebody else I'm forgetting, I'm sure. <laughs> and it, oh, yeah, Shaw. Thanks, Shaw. There you go. <laughs> It wasn't on purpose, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Make sure you get a signed uh, release. So we're going to start with uh, basically not best general, the guy who got the least amount of battle points. And uh, I don't know if you saw this coming. Jan the man right there. Yeah. It's pretty good It's all yours, right? No, <laughs> Okay, then we'll start with the, uh, the fluff prices, I guess. 
So, <laughs> best sport, most gracious loser is the best way to put it. Oh, I forgot to mention this. The prizes are store credit. Are they closed? Uh, they're open again tomorrow. That was why I was asking. But it's also credit at the store closed. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was that's, asking those questions earlier. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, store credit at the store or at their location. It's, you know, okay, you can get the address. It's like a minute away from here. Yeah, it's that's pretty close. Yeah, <laughs> they're here tomorrow as well. Anyway, it's 40 bucks for sport general presentation. 80 bucks for overall. It's not too bad. Uh, anyway, so we're going to start with best sport. This precious loser is Steve with Great golf claps. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Uh, then we get the presentation goes to Jason Hutchison. Oh, congratulations. Well done, buddy. Yeah. And best general goes to maybe in some alternate reality it could be. Uh, goes to Dave P. Here you go. Here it is. Wow. Congratulations. Jesus. it off. And best overall goes to Dominic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to keep your ego down. Anyway, thanks again for coming out, guys. You can cash in at the store. Did you beat him well? Ah. <laughs> we just have to display this at the store? No, I just, I need your info. And I can yeah, yeah, give your info to Shaw. Sorry, I forgot that. Sorry. Right. Phone number. You call them in and have them delivered. Thanks for running as well. My pleasure.